Yo, what's good, guys? It's Moon Monkey here, giving you guys some more Mario Kart 8 online. <laughs> we got Grumble Volcano right off the bat. <laughs> now, when I hopped online, I saw one of my dudes, Adrew. So, I know he has a YouTube channel, so I'm going to link that in the comment section below, but we're going to see what you do. Now, I decided to switch things up a little bit. Wanted to go with my man, Bowser, the big boss. He ain't no, he ain't no ordinary boss. <laughs> He's a final boss, baby. <laughs> I picked Bowser because I was tired of getting pushed around as Yoshi. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, I was tired of getting pushed around by Yoshi by these heavyweights. So I just like, you know what? If you guys want to play, you guys could play. Now, I'm excited about Bowser. Not just in Mario Kart, but in Smash as well. Like, he's looking like a legit threat. Bowser hasn't never pose this much of like I guess potential to be high up on the, the, the tier list so I'm, I'm definitely interested in playing him he looks like he's like the smash equivalent of Zangief pretty much I love his drop kicks his drop kicks are majestic like <laughs> they cannot be stopped I'm definitely trying out Bowser Donkey Kong too who my man Donkey Kong yo his fur in smash looks glorious don't let anybody tell you otherwise. His fur be glorious. All right, let's throw some these bananas. Let's go. The final boss coming through. Daisy. Oh, someone sniped me with the with the shells. I see how it's going now. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Who else? Aside from Yoshi, because let's be honest here. I'm maining Yoshi when it comes to Smash 4. Um, I'm definitely going to try out Zelda. Hopefully she has more of a chance to be, I guess, <laughs> versatile in, in matchups now with her Phantom. I don't know. Maybe we'll give her like a defensive option against characters with disjointed hitboxes like Marth. Oh, Wii Fit Trainer. Yo, Wii Fit Trainer is looking pretty good. I'm liking the way how her, her, um, her jabs like ground people... I could do some like some really nasty setups with deep breathing and sun salutation. Like I'm like she's pretty. Oh snap! Come on with these green shells every time. Come on, Bowser. But yeah, we for trainer. She's looking like she could possibly be like <laughs> the Hakan of Smash. Like her deep breathings are essentially just oil ups. <laughs> We Fit Trainers looking pretty nice. Rosalina, oh my good. Yo, Rosalina, like, everyone I'm seeing is, like, equivalent of, like, another fighting game. Like, Rosalina, she looks like the equivalent of, like, Eddie from Guilty Gear. Like, puppet characters. They're one of those characters, like, those fighters that are, like, hard to, like, master. But, whew, they have, like, a really high skill ceiling. So, Rosalina, like, I'm excited just to see combo videos. Oh, my man, Adrian, step your game up, bruh. <laughs> Yeah, combo videos in Smash, like, it's going to look majestic. Who else be looking good in that game? Pac-Man. Yo, Pac-Man's my dude. Waka Waka this bitch. Yo. <laughs> His moveset looks pretty fun. Like, I'm liking how that turned out. Oh, my man dropped out, bro. I don't know if she's waiting for more people. All right, guys, I'm going to cut out. Then jump back in and I find like a decent set of people. Hey, we back. A hey, more Grumble Volcano, hopefully this time. Yo, we got another <laughs> creepy ass me though. <laughs> My man with the wide open eyes. Hey, Grumble Volcano, let's go. Big boss, final volcano, let's go. So, yeah, Smash 4 is looking nice. I'm excited to play as Charizard as well. Like, Charizard's looking like a threat. I'm curious to see how his Flare Blitz, like, functions. I don't know if it's going to be, like, Luigi's Rocket or you have to charge it up. Or if it's going to kind of just be just, like, shoot out on input. Could be pretty dope, pretty dope. 
my man Charizard. Who else? Palutena's looking pretty nice too. Like I'm, I'm liking she, she's she's gonna be the kind of like those characters that box out characters from getting in. So close up characters gonna have a really hard time fighting her. But it looks like her downfall is if she whips an attack, she's gonna get punished hard. Like, up oh, Kobe. How do I miss a bomb? It explodes in a radius. Bowser, we slipping. Who? Golden red shells. Of course, gonna hit me right. This ugly ass beat. All right, come on, Bowser. Payday. Pick up these coins. We ain't doing eighth place, bruh. We ain't doing eighth place. What am I gonna do with a damn mushroom? Oh my goodness, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? All right, here we go. Bruh. Get your head back in the game. All right, here we go, here we go. Take that drift, take that drift. Ooh, dodge that fire. Let's go. Take these mushrooms, let's go. We take the high road, swoop down like an eagle. There we go. Oh yeah, where was I? Oh, I should have used that bullet pill. <laughs> But yeah, Palutena, she's looking like like one of those characters that, that could box out characters with her mid-range magic attacks. But when she whiffs an attack, because her attacks look to have a lot of ending lag, so she looks like she's getting a punish if she misses an attack. Which is a decent trade-off. For the most part, yeah, characters look like they have like a trade-off for like everything that they do. Like Little Mac, whoo! A threat on the ground, but he gets his ass whooped in the air like at the Smash Fest, like, I thought, like, his aerial game, like, I knew it was going to be bad, but I didn't know it was going to be, like, that bad. Like, there's, like, no knockback at all on his attacks. It's ridiculous. Greninja? I'm not really into Greninja. Like, he's a cool Pokemon. Like, I, I used him on my, on my Pokemon X run-through. Like, he's dope, but his playstyle, I'm not really with it. Like, he seems like he's going to, like, play, like, kind of similar to Sheik, kind of like a fast nimble kind of fighter i ain't really with that like i kind of like characters that kind of like i don't know whatever it whatever characters i like it's definitely not greninja and chic i mean I'm, I'm happy that he's in but i ain't really feeling the place that i'll try him out but i ain't really feeling him this ugly ass me speaking of me's i'm not really into like the, these me fighters like <laughs> i mean yeah, their move sets are cool, but I don't really want these niggas in here. <laughs> yeah, but what you gonna do? I'm sure in time I'll get over it, but right now I'm in my honeymoon salty phase right now. Like I ain't liking these me's at all. They need to get the fuck out of here. Ooh, Daisy. What also I'm interested in, I'm interested in these custom movesets. Like, I want to see if they're going to actually be viable in competitive play. Like, optimistically, I hope that... Oh, Bowser, what are you doing? Optimistically, I hope that every character has at least one or two variants of their, of their moveset that's viable. That they could use for like in matchups. That way they could de drastically change up like how a match is played. Like say I'm Link. And I'm going up against Marth. Who for some reason in that matchup. Marth is just like destroys Link. But if you have like a. Ooh, I had to focus there real quick. <laughs> yeah if you had a certain like customization for like your, your moveset. If you're able to like get into Marth's like defenses or like catch him it'll definitely like make marth like think twice in the way how he approaches you so it could definitely change up to how the matchup is played so now if it's going to be something broken i ain't really with it but i have hopes that it could be pretty decent 
Really? Like, and you stole all the mushrooms? Like, bruh, quit being selfish. We got, like, what? Two or three more months before the 3DS version comes out? I ain't really into the 3DS version. I'm more into this, like, the Wii U version, but... Since 3DS one comes out first, I mean, I guess... I guess I'll play it. I mean, it comes out first, so... It should be enough. I mean, it's Smash, so... But f personally, for me, like, Smash... I, I enjoyed it on a, on a big screen setting. Like, I don't... <laughs> I'm not really gonna enjoy it on a, like, on a handle. I mean, it's nice gonna be having Smash on the go, but... I ain't really with that. I feel like the main reason I'm, I'm buying it just because it comes out first. If the Wii U came came out first, I would not be touching the 3DS version at all. I'm also interested in seeing who's actually going to be like the final roster. Also, I heard that there's like rumors of like DLC characters on what is this the Gamatsu League? Yeah, this Sal Morano guy, like, Sal Romano, I think I, I, I kind of just, like, blurred all of his, like, his first and last name together, Sal Morano. <laughs> but, yeah, I think, like, right before E3, he, like, mentioned something about potential DLC characters. Yo, my one hope is if King K. Rule can make it into Smash. Like, that is the character... That I want the most in Smash. Like, once he's in, I don't give a fuck who else they could add into the game. They could add Goku for all I care. Once they add King K. Rule, I'm good. I'm good. Like I and I don't I don't want King K. Rule for the sake of just like I want King K. Rule like the character model. Like I think he could potentially have like a pretty decent move set. Like I don't know if you guys have played. <laughs> PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. <laughs> I know it might sound blasphemous. Bring up PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale in a <laughs> Smash talk. But, I mean, the game wasn't bad, but I didn't like how, like, its mechanics were. But anyway, like, if you guys played, like, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, I think King, King K. Rool could kind of be, like, Ratchet. How he could, like, is it Ratchet? It could be Daxter as well. I think it might be... I think it was Ratchet, yeah. Where he could, like, set out, like, little, like, droids or, like, little minions to do, like, passive damage over time. I think King K. Ru oh, come on, really? With the green shell? That was mine, too. Bowser, what are we doing? We're supposed to be the final boss, bruh. We're supposed to be King K. Rule status. Final boss. What are we doing in 10th? Bosses don't belong in 10th place. Employees belong in 10th place. No items, really, Brad? But yeah, I think King K. Roll, King K. Roll, he could be a heavy passive attacker where he could have little minion damage. Maybe he could, like, send out, like, clap traps to kind of, like, roam the land. Kind of like the Waddle Dees for his throw. He definitely got to have his blunderbuss. That's like a trademark. He has to have that as well. With all the projectiles. Oh, speaking of projectiles, my man Mega Man. Now, I didn't really grow up with Mega Man like that, so I really have like no, I guess, no no, no nostalgia factor factors in when really every time, bruh. And you run me over. All right, you niggas came to play. Okay, okay, you niggas want to play. Well, if you niggas want to play, let's go. Oh, we going to play today. Hey, let's go. Bro, what are we doing? Bowser, get in the game, bro. This is disgusting. That was disgusting. What was I talking about? King K. Rule? Something about King K. Rule? 
Oh yeah, he has to have his blunderbuss. That's like <laughs> the move that I picture him having. Like, I think it will kind of function kind of like how Diddy Kong's B move would work as well. And then possibly he could have that like random slight chance of getting like those swirly, swirly cannonballs where like they'll just like go in like in a circular motion as they go. Kind of like how Mewtwo's Shadow Ball moved in Melee. But yeah, King K. Rool, he he's the character that I want the most. Three disconnects later. Hey, we back. <laughs> but we got another disgusting meme. <laughs> what is this? Albert Einstein? Like, what is it? Yo, that... <laughs> it's like I run from one bad me to another, man. I can't escape him. Who are you? Woodstock. <laughs> <laughs> man these niggas be scaring me with these bees man alright Bowser let's do it take him to the mansion this ghost playboy mansion alright Bowser let's do it we aiming for top 3 no more top four. These niggas don't get this work. Hey, yo, Woodstock. Fuck you and yo, me. Oh, I'm gonna hit the ledge. Oh, my goodness. I gotta get it past this guy. I don't wanna look at this shit anymore. I'm done. Look at me now. Look at me now. Whew. Of course he would have the fireballs, right? That shit don't affect me. Yo, like I said, I'm excited for like Smash for like Like I wanna see like I think in the um the E three direct, like we got to see Bowser use like his classic trademark like fireballs like as one of his customized customizable moves that like yo that's gonna be pretty legit. Like that actually gives him like a decent projectile, like not like a mid range well it really depends on how far the fireballs like like I guess travel across the screen, but it looks like he would actually have like an an actual projectile to like deal with like characters like Marth, like instead of like standing still and shooting off flamethrowers and being stationary, he could probably just like short hop fireball. Like that could be pretty legit. Like that could really change up like how Bowser, my dude, I don't know who you fucking with right now, but you fucking with a thug right now. You fucking with a thug. New slash nigga. You fucking with a thug. All right. These two niggas. I ain't catching them. He got three mushrooms. Ooh. And this nigga got a gold mushroom. What are we going to do with one mushroom? And they got like double that. Like. <laughs> no respect. Like I don't understand. I'm behind them. Shouldn't I get better items than them? Like. They getting gold mushrooms and shit. <laughs> what is this? But yeah, I'm really excited to see how custom customization like really changes how characters play. Like, yeah, there's gonna be like a fine balance between broken and like balance, but like I said, I definitely think there, there's gonna be at least two to three different options for characters that will be viable in a, in a competitive setting. It could be like Street Fighter, like how people like change up their supers or more more recently on um, Mortal Kombat 10 like they have alternate playstyles for characters like if these other fighting games are implementing i i see no reason why smash can't thrive in a setting like that hey we about to have some royal waste weight let's go Oh, 
But when it comes to like characters I'm gonna use frequently, you got you guys already know my nigga Yoshi changed up his dash attack, I think. Woo! Hawkeye, let's go Bowser. First place. I'm really hoping that they give my boy Yoshi tether recovery, like. Why can't Yoshi tether recovery? Like, nobody's played Yoshi's story in Nintendo. Like, my dude could use his tongue. My nigga Yoshi nasty with that tongue game. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Yo, but honestly, like, I really hope that his egg throw isn't like how it was in Brawl, where it was, like, kind of, like, predefined. Like, if you stand in a certain spot and throw your eggs at, like, different angles and pressure... You'd find out, like, you could only land your eggs in certain areas of the stage. I hope it's, like, Melee, where it's more analog, where you can really fine-tune your egg throws. Like, I was watching someone play on the 3DS version, and it looks like you could, like, throw your eggs, like, pretty, like, pretty perpendicular to, like, Yoshi. So it comes out, like, straight out from him. But I want, like, that fine-tune for, like, combo setups with the eggs. Like, if it, if it has, like, brawls, like, like leverage how you pop up in the air when you throw it, and melee is fine-tuned, I'm good with Yoshi. I'm good. Because that's all I really want from him. And he could jump out of shield. Like, yo, that is a dream come true. Like, he's on point. Of course, Red Shell would hit me when I'm down. Niggas want to beat a dead horse. Don't hit me. I'm about to say, my nigga Victor, you about to be on my shit list. What? Wait, was that a red shell? You niggas are bugging now. You niggas are bugging now. I was just in first place. Now I'm in 10th. Nah, you niggas are really bugging now. I don't understand how I could just fall from grace like this. I'm a thug. I should be where the killer's at. No items. All right, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing anything this race. And this nigga got three red shells. Maybe he can come into my advantage. Let's go. Seventh place. Yo, I was just in first. Yo, that's the thing about this game, man. <laughs> These items. <laughs> Right, I think I'll do one more. I could do one more. Bowser needs to rep his city. His castle. Let's go. Yo, this ugly ass me. Get my, out of my face. Get out of my face. What other newcomer I haven't talked about? Oh, the villager. The villager looks kind of like... He looks very creative in his moves... Like, in his play style. Like, his moveset looks... Like, it can really, like... Be trippy with the Lloyd and the tree. You can see a lot of nasty setups. Especially with the tree. This dude's gonna be an edge hog master. Not an edge hog, but an edge garter. R.I.P. Foxes. <laughs> All right, Bowser, let's do it. Oh, yeah. One thing that I am disappointed from Smash 4 is the fact that both Toon Link and Link have the same exact moveset again. Like, really? Like, they couldn't even give the dude nothing from Wind Waker? Like, the same exact moves. Like, even their final smashes are the same. That is disappointing. That is boring, like, the thing is I don't like about clones, like, when it comes to, like, semi-clones and clones, people are tend people tend to always pick, like, the better of the two, so there's always gonna be one character that is, like, not used, so, it's, it's, then again, Toon Link and Link kind of vary, I guess, I don't know if they vary enough. I mean, Brawl, I guess, it suffice, but 
I don't know. I just don't want another like Marth Roy situation where there's clearly like a better a better alternative. I'm still gonna use Link. I don't really fuck with two Link like that. I don't like really I don't like his aerials. <laughs> I'm really disappointed, like, for some reason, like, they have to have, like, I don't know why, for some reason, Sakurai is determined to make them have the same exact moveset. The only thing that's different about them is probably, like, their aerials and their taunts. <laughs> that's about it. I'm not dropping from, like, third to tenth place again. You think is he to fall back? I ain't no pushover, nigga. I ain't no push blooper. Like, what is this gonna do to help me? You see me struggling, game? Do you see me struggling? I'm struggling, bruh. And you giving me goddamn bloopers? How dare you? Hey, third place. We meet again, homie. All right. Just give me a triple mushroom and be straight. Triple mushroom. Single mushroom. I ain't gonna do shit with this. All right, Bowser. Let's go. Second place. Whoo. All right, third. Okay, third. We meet again, third. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, that was Mario Kart 8 Online. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to do some races with me, hit me up in the comment section. We could definitely do a couple friendly matches together. You could play against your boy, the boss, the final boss, Bowser, or even my main nigga, Yoshi. But yeah, we in these streets.